Hey everybody, Scotty here with Raxis. Uh, I'm sitting in a parking lot here at a commercial uh, office complex, uh, three-story building. I'm about to do some mouse jacking attacks. Um, basically, I'm going to intercept unencrypted transmissions from the, mi the mouse and actually insert payloads through scripting language to download any of the wireless saved passwords for the computers that we intercept this traffic on. Um, I'll go ahead and do this now. I've already got it set up to run. All right. There we go. Went ahead and intercepted some traffic. Uh, it's emailed over to a secure password uh, email account that we have in place. And uh, stay tuned. Scott Sailors with Raxus is going to uh, go into the technical aspects of this type of attack. All right, I have two terminal windows open. One is Responder. We're going to launch Responder to capture the uh, the password hash of our victim. Um, just running Responder with basically all the defaults except for one thing. I wanted to keep the, um, the traffic to a minimum uh, on this network. So I'm just listening for um, traffic, just responding to traffic from this one host, which is my victim host. The payload, uh, the the uh, jacket uh, command I'm going to use to send my payload, and actually I'll show the um, the payload because it's fairly short. Um, it's only what one, two, three, five lines long. So basically, this is sending payload to my victim to connect back to this host, which is me. Uh, that way, I can capture the uh, password hash. Um, if you're not familiar with Hack5 and the USB rubber ducky, they've got some really cool stuff. Um, this uh, script is a ducky script, and it's they're fairly easy to, uh, to figure out. You can you can run all kinds of commands, PowerShell um, commands, and so on with this. And there's a lot you can do with uh, with mouse jacking. But since this one is so short, um, it's easy to run because a lot of times the victims don't notice. And I run this on internal pen tests and um, physical jobs like red teaming because it's um, it, it's so easy to slide this in. People don't notice a lot of times. And so anyway, let's uh, launch the payload. So a jacket has started. And so now we're listening. We're listening for... Uh, basically, um, mouse clicks. Um, what mouse jacking does is it um, looks for mouse clicks um, that are going between the mouse and the dongle. So um, there are a lot of vendors out there that they're, they're still making uh, these devices that are unencrypted. So they resolved this with keyboards many years ago. But um, they didn't, I, I guess no one thought about the mouse clicks being unencrypted. So you can inject into those streams. So where you have keyboard um, clicks that are encrypted, so you can't capture the keystrokes uh, like this, uh, the mouse clicks, you can just inject it and do basically the same thing. So what you can't see off screen is I am clicking. I've got a Windows 10 laptop that uh, should be completely updated. And I'm clicking, clicking, waiting. So there we go. We've captured and captured a packet. So you see the last captured packet here, the brand here, um, the last time it was seen, MAC address and channel and so on. So we're gonna attack that device. Just because you see something up here doesn't mean that it's, um, that it's vulnerable. So a lot of the Logitech devices are vulnerable from my experience. Um, so I'm gonna use one to just attack that one device. Uh, you can click all because a lot of times on an assessment, you may have um, quite a few of these. And so it's not a bad idea to, to send it to all. You can't identify who you're attacking. So if you're in a multi-tenant office building, you very well could be attacking someone outside of your scope and could get into some trouble. So you have to be very, very careful with that. Um, on a pen test. Um, if you're doing this maliciously, don't do it. Um, anyway, we're going to send the uh, payload. And there you go. Um, so very, very quick, very easy. It's successfully sent to the device on channel 8. 
And here you see we've captured this user.admin on this Raxus test 07 device. And here is the NTLM version 2 hash. Um, and you can take that and throw it in Hashcat, throw it in uh, John the Ripper, try to crack it. Um, it's a very, very easy password to um, to crack. It's just password123. Um, so that's it. Um, it's, that's easy. I use this attack probably more than anything else because capturing these hashes, a lot of times you can crack the weak passwords um, or you can relay these elsewhere. And there are many, many times where you'll capture a domain admin hash this way and relaying that uh, can get you uh, pretty far on an internal assessment. Uh, so next I'll show you what it's doing on the victim side. Okay, so here we are on a Windows 10 uh, computer and the payload is very, very quick on here. So I'm just clicking around, clicking the mouse and there we go. Um, let's send it, payload, which you can't see off screen. It's the exact same thing we did in the previous part and that's it. <laughs> So that's all there is to it. So as you um, as you can see, it pops up very, very quickly um, and it tries to connect to that device. It's trying to authenticate. And so Windows can't authenticate to it, obviously, because there's really nothing there for it to authenticate to, but, but I have captured uh, what I needed to on the other end. So I have seen users on assessments just see this pop up and they look at it and hit cancel and close. And you can see it straight did the start run backslash backslash IP. So, and then they close it and they, it, it hardly ever gets reported because it's, you know, for, for the user is just quirky IT or quirky windows, whatever, this and that. And they just go back to working. So um, one thing about these payloads is if something pops up and starts typing, so you do the uh, start run and typing in the payload, if a user clicks somewhere else, then it's gonna launch that payload into, um, into whatever else. So if they open up a Word document and you have a really long payload, if they click outside of this, then it's gonna just start throwing that payload into whatever else. and it will look very strange to them and it'll kill your payload. So this is um, one of those attacks that sometimes you may have to do multiple times before you get it. Uh, but these short payloads like this, it's very, um, very easy to, to get these in. Uh, the longer payloads, like the next one I'm gonna show you, um, to steal the wireless password, um, that one can get a little tricky, uh, but I've had it pay off uh, numerous times. So um, anyway, uh, the next uh, section, I'll show you how to steal wireless password from a victim and uh, have it email to a um, to a Gmail account. The second attack is a wireless uh, password grab, and this one is fairly easy. Um, again, it's hack five. Um, you can see the payload here. It's uh, quite a few lines longer than the previous, and you can find it here. Um, again, attacking the same machine, it's fully updated uh, Windows 10. It basically grabs the wireless profile from the machine, copies it to a.txt, scroll down to the email portion, it creates an email um, using Gmail uh, for this. Here's the password. Um, this will be changed before this video goes live, so you can try if you want. Um, but it sends an email to this corp.user, corporate.user6000 uh, from and to that same user, which is me. Subject is Wi-Fi key grabber. And then it goes through and it will delete the log file. It deletes all of this, um, all of the payload and cleans up after itself and closes the window, which is nice. So we will launch this and it's running and what you can't see on the other side. All right, so I'm clicking and there you see it, uh, it captured here the uh, same device. And control C, 
I'm going to send it to that one device and it's launching the payload. It takes a second because this payload is a lot longer as you'll see in the next, um, the next portion. All right, and there we go. Um, payload finished and we now have an email in this Gmail account. And if you click on it, you've got the SSID and the, uh, the password uh, right here. And so that's pretty easy. Uh, we, uh, like I said, I use this quite a bit. Um, I'll show you the, the victim side uh, next. And it's kind of shocking that some of this does not go, doesn't get reported. All right, so from the victim side of things, um, this is what the Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi grabber um, payload looks like. I'm actually clicking to get enough traffic. There we go. So I'm going to launch it. And this is what the victims see. And this one shocks me on assessments because this stuff should be reported um, immediately. Um, but a lot of times users just, they think this is normal stuff and they, they don't report it. A lot of times they'll make comments um, and call somebody over and and laugh about this, but the, what it does right here, where it cleans itself up, they they uh, that usually puts them at ease and they can get back to working. And little do they know, we've captured their uh, wireless uh, WPA2 key, and now I can get on the network. Um, another payload that I use is this one. It's very silly, but um, admins love it. When I'm on a pen test, I'll show this attack and they'll want to quickly try to identify who's got a vulnerable device. Um, so we'll walk around the office and launch this, and it's very easy to identify the uh, Nyan cat. So a lot of times you will hear that just going off all over the office and people um, will start to, uh, to make a lot of noise or laughing, or whatever, so you can easily run around and identify that. Um, anyway, I, if you are as yeah, some sort of um, admin on a network, um, I, I urge you to play around with this attack. And the, the device is around $35. I'm using the uh, Crazy Radio PA I ordered from Amazon. It's very easy to set up. Go to mousejack.com to, uh, to see all of the um, instructions on how to get that set up and and so on, but it's a fairly simple um, attack and it can be very dangerous um, at the same time. So it's something you definitely want to resolve because it doesn't matter where you are. Um, I, that Wi-Fi key grab, all I have to be is in your parking lot and I can start getting um, wireless hashes. Um, I'm sorry, what the wireless password in clear text so I can do I can attack your business from the uh, the parking lot from a bench sitting outside your office um, parking garage uh, from a drone even we we have uh, played around with this and set this up on a drone and and it's a pain but it's uh, it's a pretty cool attack vector and and uh, you know we can it that opens up a lot more range for us so anyway uh, thank you for your time and hope you enjoy the video.